She worked in Kinsale Hospital caring for people. And now the fact that she has dementia, we're actually caring for her. Before the dementia, my mum was um, a very, I suppose, a very independent lady. She had run her own business. She had a grocery shop back through the years in Kinsale. I often think that the children brought all their brains from George. That may not sound the way you would think. She was involved in everything. She was very sporty. Even growing up when we were kids, she was playing ladies football. She was involved in everything. Liked her independence, liked her own space, but adored her, her grandchildren. She had full participation with her kids. As we, She brought them up. I was away flying most of the time, but she was the one that actually brought the children up. Was involved with the tidy village committee, um, you know, did many, many, many things, right? Um, and now, he would forget where he put the car. He would leave the car behind and come home without it and things like that. And that, that's true, you know, not, not deliberately or whatever, but you're sent in your own ways, your nose is in a book, or you, you're not noticing the little things. But then the little things deteriorate to a point where you can't help but notice them. It was a surprise, I suppose, yes, yeah. Disappointing, really, you know. I, I became concerned because she was watching too much television. I used to say, look, if you want to watch a particular programme, switch it on and watch it, but don't watch what comes after it. You just sit there. You're, I don't believe you're even watching it. You're miles away. And that's the way it was. My man was just definitely different. It, it really was, it was, I seem to use the word frightening all the time and it was frightening and there's no other word for it, it's terrifying. I find that meetings and stuff I go to, some people are very embarrassed about their family. I'm not embarrassed. I'm telling it as it is, you know, and I think people should talk out about it. I, I, I can't really go anywhere, I can't do anything, I have no social life. It seems, you know, everybody is familiar with, oh, she has Alzheimer's, but they don't, they don't really appreciate what it is. You know, the, the, the care that's required to take care of them, it's, it's intensive, it has to be. They're not trained in this. They haven't worked in places like GF and places like that. I think it's very important that education, that they're educated as to the needs and the wants of the carers and the family of the dementia sufferers. Should George went into the GP without appointments and everything, he'd be sitting in the waiting room waiting for him. <laughs> yeah. That's actually true, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were no rules. No, yeah. there were never rules with George. I think it's very, very important that GPs uh, are in constant contact with family members to inform them as to um, the consequences, the development of dementia. And that's very important as well. Well, it was dreadfully important for me, obviously. The district nurse got on to me and told me she was going to try and arrange to have a carer come and alleviate the problem. I suppose it has made a big impact really on me and my family mostly, because I'm like my husband and I have two sons and like a lot of the time I'm sort of down in mums, you know, and it's hard you're sort of juggling between one or the other. Now I wouldn't have it any other way, believe me, like, but it is hard. It's hard on your family, I think, more than yourself. You don't stop to think really because when the patient is in care and when they're at a certain stage, shall we say, all you can do is be there and hold their hand and you know help generally with them and be there for them. But in the beginning, when it's all new and these things are happening day upon day upon day and you've no idea what's going to happen the following day, you're completely floundering in the dark. That's when the help is needed. The help isn't needed at the end at all. The help is needed in the very beginning.